Hello, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about prompt engineering. Have you heard the term prompt engineering and you weren't really sure how important this is or even if you should invest time in learning about it? Well, follow along with me for the next few minutes and I'll get you up to speed on this topic and share why I think it's important for you to invest some time in learning this. Okay, let's get started. Prompt engineering involves designing and refining the inputs given to an LLM to achieve desired outputs. You can prompt an LLM with a simple question and you will get an answer, but you're likely to get a very generic response. Well-crafted prompts can significantly improve the quality, relevance, and accuracy of the model's response, ensuring the results meet your needs. To get the best response possible, you want to leverage all the power of an LLM, and you can do this by using prompt engineering best practices. In addition to including the question in the prompt, here are some additional elements that can be included in a prompt to improve the response. They are, the persona, the tone, context, examples, and the desired output format. Let's start with the first one, persona. What do we mean by persona? The persona is who you want the LLM to be. Examples might be an accountant, a coach, or a physical trainer. Next is tone. What does tone help with in a prompt? Well, this gives a hint to the LLM as to the tone in the response. Examples might be confident, witty, sarcastic. Next is context. What do we mean by context? Well, you want to provide sufficient background information or context to help the model understand the situation and generate relevant responses. Well, what about examples? What are the benefits of including examples in the prompt? Well, including examples has been shown to dramatically improve the quality of the LLM response. An example of this might be including several question answer pairs in the prompt to guide the LLM on exactly what you're looking for. Next is output format. You don't have to include the output format, but doing so will give the LLM guidance as to what the most desirable output format you're looking for. Examples are bullet level summary or paragraph or even generate output in HTML. Lastly, let's go back to the question. The question, as we mentioned earlier, is the one element of the prompt you actually need. Without this, the LLM will not give you a response. A best practice here is being clear and concise in how you phrase your question to the LLM. So we can see as users interacting with an LLM how prompts are helpful. But why should system builders care about prompt engineering? Well, if you're a system builder and you are programmatically invoking an LLM through an API endpoint, you want to codify the best practice prompts with all the elements discussed in this video in the API request to the LLM to increase the quality of the LLM response which in turn will increase the quality of your overall system. So now you should understand what prompt engineering is and why it's important in helping you as a user or a system builder. In summary, prompt engineering can significantly improve the quality, relevance, and accuracy of the LLM response, ensuring the results meet your system needs. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all my other videos in the ML AI Knowledge Concepts playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about the innovation with the cloud, machine learning, and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, 
Go surfing. Get out and move your body. And if you do, tell me in the comments. I want to hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.